God is doing something in our economy. Praise the name of the living God. Our shilling is doing the best, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. No one can be able to explain. Praise the name of the living God. But one thing we know that God is at work. Our economy is growing at a, as a, at a rate, I think, of about 5.7%. Praise the name of the living God. In the year 2024, we had an unemployment of about 50,000 teachers. Praise the name of the living God. And many other things. We know that the fuel prices have been dropping. Even yesterday, we received another drop in our fuel prices. And we are here to tell God, thank you. Amen. We know that uh, when this government came into power, there was a lot of challenges, and especially there was a lot of noise in terms of the challenges we were going through. And we can all agree that we felt the heat of the economy. And even if you did not feel it personally, maybe the people who are surrounding you are members. Some of us even we were asked, is this the government you are praying for? Because of the challenges that we were facing. And uh, personally, when I saw what was happening, one time in prayer, the Holy Spirit referred me into a portion of scripture in the book of Exodus chapter 5. We may not be able to read all of it, but if you read the book of Exodus chapter 5, is when Moses went to deliver, God called him to go and deliver the children of Israel. Chapter 5 verse 1, the Bible says, Exodus 5 verse 1, Afterward, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, Let my people go so that they may hold a festival to me in the wilderness. We know that God really had called Moses and also Aaron into this assignment. As we are also sure that we prayed this government into power, and even our president made that confession. But when Moses started his journey, things did not get better. If you jump to verse 10, the Bible says, Then the slave drivers and the overseers went out and said to the people, This is what Pharaoh says, I will not give you any more straw. Go and get your own straw wherever you can find it. But your work will not be reduced at all. So things started getting worse when Moses started his journey to deliver the children of Israel. Verse 15. Then the Israelite overseers went and appealed to Pharaoh. Why have you treated your servant this way? Your servants are given no straw, yet we are told to make bricks. Your servants are being beaten. But the fault is with your people. Pharaoh said, lazy. That is what you are, lazy. That is why you keep saying, let us go and sacrifice uh, to the Lord. We kept on praying. Now, get to work. You not be given any straw. Yet, you must produce your full quarter of bricks. The Israelite overseers realized they were in trouble when they were told you are not to reduce the number of bricks required to you each day. When they left Pharaoh, they found Moses and Aaron waiting to meet them. And they said, May the Lord look on you and judge you. You have made us obnoxious to Pharaoh and his officials and have put a sword in their hand to kill us. Instead of the situation getting better, it got worse. Even Moses himself, the Bible says in verse 22, Moses returned to the Lord and said, Why, Lord? Why have you brought trouble on these people? Is this why you sent me? Ever since I went to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has brought trouble on these people. And you have not rescued your people at all. 
Praise the name of the living God. So when I was praying, God, the Holy Spirit told me, it is going to get worse before it gets better. Because that is how God works. Even in your life, sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Do you know why it gets worse before it gets better? Let me give you a portion of scripture, then we are going to give thanks together. Because we interpret the Bible with the Bible. In the book of 1 Corinthians, uh, chapter 1, verse 8 to 11. The Bible says, this is Paul speaking. First, Second Corinthians, sorry. Um, Second Corinthians, chapter 8. Uh, second, second Corinthians, chapter 1, from verse 8. I can be able to read it from here. We don't want you to be uninformed brothers and sisters about the, about the troubles we experience in the province of Asia. The Bible says we were under great pressure far beyond our ability to endure so that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who laces the dead. He has delivered us from such deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope, and, and, we, and he will continue to deliver us. As you help us by your prayers, then many will give thanks on behalf for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Paul is telling the Corinthian church, when you see me giving thanks to God, the way I'm giving thanks to him, because there was a time we lost hope, even of life itself. Praise the name of the living God. And Paul is saying, the reason God allowed this situation in our lives is so that we, we may not depend on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. And so that we may be able to put our hope in God. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. When I remember some of the things that happened even before the elections to our president and those who are around him, I believe God was allowing those things to happen so that one day when he gets to power, he will remember it is God who did it for me. That is why Paul came to a place of despairing, even of life itself. Praise the name of the living God. I remember our president in one of the national prayer breakfasts, he said, uh, he made a statement, he says, uh, you know, some of us have more reason to give thanks than others because of where we have come from. God allows challenges sometimes and pain in your life so that one day when he raises you up, you not boast, but you remain humble and you continue thanking God. Praise the name of the living God. And so Paul is saying, uh, this is an encouragement to you Corinthians uh, that now you can be able to put your hope in God and you can be able to overflow in thanksgiving when you look uh, at what God has done. And so, Kenya, we are gathered here today because we can continue to flow in thanksgiving uh, when we know our economy where it was, uh, when we know our nation where it was. Uh, we can come before the Lord uh, and tell God, uh, thank you. It got worse, uh, but now it is getting better. And as we continue to overflow in thanksgiving, uh, it will get better and better because we continue acknowledging uh, that this is not our doing. Uh, it is the Lord's doing, uh, and it is mother's uh, in our eyes. Uh, so we are here to tell the Lord, uh, thank you. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So all that happened, even if there was no money when this government took over, it was orchestrated, praise the name of the living God, by God. Praise the name of the living God. God has an intention. The same way he sent Moses and things got worse. The same way when he calls you, things may get worse. You may come to a place of despair, asking questions. Even Moses asked God, is this the reason you sent me to these people? 
Did you send me to them so that they can suffer? Praise the name of the living God. But God wanted to prepare the stage. Kwa sababu chakura cha mungu ni utukufu. Mungu alikuwa natayarisha Musa siku moja. Hata wewe Musa hauta piga kifua. Utakuja kujua ya kwamba ni mimi nilikomboa hawa watu kwa mkono wangu wenye nguvu. Paul alijua ya kwamba mimi nilikuwa nimekata tamaa hata ya kuishi ni wewe Mungu linisaidia. And all of us, maybe at some point in life, you got there. A place of despair. A place of giving up. A place of fe- feeling that I am not able or I will not make it. Praise the name of the living God. But God allows you to go through that route so that one day when he has lifted you up, you'll have a reason to overflow with thanksgiving. We have a reason as a nation to overflow. When we look at the price of unga, when you look at the price of our fuel, when we look at our sharing where it is against the dollar, we have a reason to tell the Lord, thank you. You have done it for Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you are raising Kenya in the name of Jesus uh, to become an economic giant uh, in Africa because Kenya is a springboard of revival and we cannot take revival to the nations uh, without a strong economy. One of the strongest nations in the world economically is America. It is not the oldest. uh, They are about 500 years old. uh, They are nations with a history of 2,000 years, uh, 3,000 years. Uh, but the reason America became a superpower, it is because they said, uh, in God we trust. Uh, the fathers of that nation uh, laid a foundation uh, of trusting in God. Uh, and within a short 500 years, uh, they were able to rise above uh, all the nations of the earth. Uh, Kenya will continue rising uh, as we continue to lay a foundation uh, of acknowledging God, uh, of telling God, uh, this is your nation. Uh, Kenya is your inheritance. Uh, for blessed is the nation uh, whose the Lord uh, is God. Uh, the he has chosen uh, for his inheritance. Uh, oh my God, uh, how can I thank you, Lord, uh, when I see that you have lifted the pain, uh, the pain of drought. Uh, oh my God, uh, how can I thank you enough uh, when I can see our business people, they are rejoicing uh, that they can now go out there and do business uh, because our sharing is better. How can I thank you, Lord, uh, when I see the land is flourishing uh, in the mighty name of Jesus? Uh, how can I glorify your name uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, when I see, O oh God, uh, that Kenya is rising uh, with favor before the nations uh, in the name of Jesus? Uh, how can I thank you enough? Uh, when I see the policies uh, of our government, uh, they are bearing fruit uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the wisdom and the grace uh, that you have given our president, uh, when we see it is working uh, to liberate our economy. How can I thank you enough? Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I can only wait uh, in expectation. Uh, to see, O oh God, uh, what you have for this nation. Uh, I can only overflow with thanksgiving uh, in the name of Jesus uh, because we had come uh, to a place of despair as a nation uh, when our people are walking. Uh, oh my God, uh, with the souvenirs on their head. Uh, oh my God. Uh, How can I thank you enough? How can we thank you enough? Receive our praises. Receive our thanksgiving. We are not here for a religious ritual. We are here because we know we are in partnership with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know we are co-workers with you. Because we know you are putting us uh, with your righteous right hand. Uh, oh my God, uh, you are at work. Uh, oh my God. Rekabaganda bashandaba. Shatarabaganda basanda. Rekabaganda. Rekabaganda bashandaba. Rekabaganda basandaba. 
Oh, you who answer prayer, Shatara Maganda, Reka Maganda, we come to say thank you, Shatara Maganda. Some of us were mocked, Reka Maganda Bashanda, but you have come through for us, Shatara Maganda. Oh, you who answer prayer, we come to say thank you, we come to worship you. We come to honor you. We come to give you praise. This is not our doing, oh God. This is you are doing. Shatarama Gandaba. Rekama Gandaba Shandaba. Rekama Gandaba Sanda. We know, oh God, the same way you used Moses finally to deliver the children of Israel after many challenges. The same way, my father. You are going to use our president uh, as a deliverer, my father. Oh, my God, uh, to take this nation uh, to our divine destiny because he is not our own. Uh, our prayers are with him. Uh, our prayers are for uh, that all Kenya, he was in We will never be aborted uh, by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Uh, the enemy may try to mock us, but how far can the enemy go? We know, Lord, that you are coming to overthrow the horse and the rider. Go into the sea in the name of Jesus, that we may sing a new song, even as we are here to celebrate thus far that you have brought us. You are Ebenezer. We worship you. Can somebody pour you a heart? Uh, even them that have gone through pain uh, for you to get where you are. So many challenges. Uh, you have been in a place of despair. Can you pour you a heart in Thanksgiving uh, and tell God I know that this happened, uh, that I may put my trust in you, that I may put my hope in you. Can you tell the Lord this happened, uh, that I may be able to overthrow with Thanksgiving, uh, that when you have done it, uh, I'll be able to tell the world, uh, come uh, and see what the Lord uh, has done for me. Shatara Baganda, Reka Baganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda. I thank you for every sector. Thank you for agriculture. Thank you for tourism uh, that have increased. Uh, oh my God, uh, Shatara Baganda Bashanda. I continue to praise our tourism that Kenya, oh God, will become an attraction to all the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the natural resources that you are going to unlock in this nation. We celebrate your grace. We celebrate your mercy. We celebrate your goodness. We rejoice in your salvation. We rejoice in your, your deliverance. Oh God, thank you for showing us mercy. Thank you for showing the church mercy, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Wakati adui, aligojea tubihaki. Kwa sababu, my father, shatara makanda, ya maombi tuliyomba. Ya serikali ya mbao tulisimama na ayo Huku mkubalia Haenderea kudihaki Utaenderea kuonyesha uku wako Utaenderea kuonyesha wakovu wako Na Kenya buwana Itaenderea kuinua mapega yake Hapa Afrika Na mataifa yote ya dunia Kwa sababu mungu wetu Ni mungu mtu We give you praise and glory Thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. We enthrone you, the Lord of our economy. For silver and gold belongs unto you. Thank you for the healing power. Oh, God. The Bible says, when you are people who are called by your name, when they shall humble themselves and pray and forsake their wicked ways, you shall heal their land. Thank you because you are healing the land in every way. You are healing our economy. We can see it, oh God. The nations can testify that you are healing our economy. 
and he'll give you praise, uh, glory, and honor for you alone. You are what? Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue in Thanksgiving, not only in this meeting. Thanksgiving is the oil that oils the wheels of prayer. The Bible says, with Thanksgiving, we make our request be known unto God. We don't give thanks because we don't have requests. We give thanks as we make our requests to be known unto God. We give God all the glory for what he has done. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me give Apostle John Kimani William a good God bless you. Amen. We can do better than that for the Lord Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we thank God for what God is doing in our nation. Yes, we thank God in this forum we have our senior fathers, uh, but we also bless the name of the Lord that the generation that has gone before us has mentored and released other fathers that are also functioning in the graces that God has placed them. And one of them is our dear uh, brother who has just been here, Pastor John Kimani William. Thank you so much for leading us. We thank God so much for his life and the great work that God is causing him to do. You know, in the Hebrew language, the word for father is a word for Abba or Abba and the word Abba is actually a covering one who is able to cover other people and so God has released that grace and we thank God so much for our senior fathers that are here and today we also have our fathers there's really there's no junior father per se uh, but we want to thank God so much because God has released those who have gone ahead of us whom we honor uh, greatly that I'd mentioned earlier, but we also want to thank God for those who are here that God has allowed to break grounds. Uh, men like uh, Apostle Dr. Jeff David Juma and his wife, Pastor Sunta, uh, our good uh, friends, uh, our 